still saved on my computer hundreds of pages of sort of random memories that, or meditations that don't really go anywhere. Mostly they're about moments of uh, pop culture that I wanted to somehow you know, memorialize because I'm really a fan of the 80s. But they didn't really have anything to do with the larger theme of stealing Buddha's dinner, so I knew they, they had to go. I wanted to make sure that everything in the book had something to do with larger ideas, having to do with identity, uh, assimilation, and the uh, outsiderness that we can experience as children, as humans, as immigrants, as the children of immigrants. And I wanted to make sure that the memoir wasn't just a collection of anecdotes that I could remember, but rather a collection of experiences that for one reason or another I could not forget, and how those could be put together under the, the larger umbrella of food metaphors. The food metaphor took shape, as I said earlier, because of my, uh, my literal obsession with American food versus Vietnamese food, but it also became a, a clear way for me to think about the past. It became like a kind of lens, in a way. As a kid, I thought about food as you know, something magical and also very literal. But when I grew up, finally, I looked back and I realized that when I was really craving those hostess cupcakes, I wasn't just craving them to eat, even though they were very delicious. I was craving the acceptance that I thought they could bring me. Or that I was craving the packaging. I was wanting to be a part of the world they seemed to confer. And so that time period, you know, when I was mostly in elementary school, became the subject of this book. And it didn't go into high school, really, or too much even beyond uh, those elementary school years, because I wanted to focus on a time period before I was really conscious of identity politics, before I had any idea who I was. By the time I got to high school, I sort of knew a little bit better who I was supposed to be, or I understood a little bit more about the, um, the concept of an American identity. As a kid, in the 80s, I had no idea, and it was, it was interesting to use a present-day perspective to try to get into uh, a previous perspective, the child's perspective. So context, the, the 70s and 80s, and setting here in Michigan were very uh, crucial to the development of this book.